I've been hunting it, well actually herping for pretty much all my life. I have a passion for reptiles. A lot of people do the just drive around. I uh, more get I'm more I just I walk around more and get into the brush more, walk a little bit deeper in places. When a lot of people just like I say just cruise around, drive, instead of going out there and really hunting for them. When you first capture the snake, you need to um, track, take all like the data coordinates, the uh, uh, longitude, latitude where it was captured, and then from there you got to contact uh, the uni uh, FWC, and uh, there's a drop-off point where you take them, and then uh, they do their, their studies on them, how they're affecting the ecosystem, they'll do the necropsies, they'll go ahead and cut them open, but I mean it needs to be done, and see how they're affecting the ecosystem, what are they eating, even though it doesn't belong here, it's a shame. Because where they're from, they're protected. And um, here, we're killing them. Yeah, they eat rabbits, they eat, they eat anything. Like I say, it's an apex predator. There's no, I mean, there's a deer could walk by this and a deer would not even know that this is any harm to it because it's not native to here. It doesn't even know really what it is. It's on top of the food chain here, definitely. It's between this guy and the alligator. Sometimes this guy wins, sometimes the gator wins. Every single one I catch is like catching the first one. Too slow for me. When you catch them, you gotta worry about both ends. The mouth and the musk. So it'll just squirt that stuff all over you. But to me, it's, if you come home not smelling like a python, it wasn't a good day. <laughs> 